day 1072 of the Trump administration, and the political landscape will soon shift dramatically for this White House. The first few weeks of the year will pose critical challenges for President Trump. 2020 is just days away, and the president is heading into the new year amid the biggest crisis of his presidency. He is facing an impeachment trial in the United States Senate. And tonight, senators are still awaiting the actual articles of impeachment from the House. Speaker Pelosi says she needs to know details about the trial process before she transmits those articles. Today, Pelosi sent out this tweet, quote, President Trump abused his power for his own personal gain. Hours later, Trump reacted with this, quote, so interesting to see Nancy Pelosi demanding fairness from Senate Majority Leader McConnell when she presided over the most unfair hearing in the history of the United States Congress. Pelosi and Senate Minority Leader Chuck Schumer are pushing for McConnell to subpoena witnesses and documents for a Senate trial. Their efforts are getting an assist from a group called Republicans for the Rule of Law, which released this ad aimed at Senator Susan Collins of Maine, a Republican who's up for re-election in 2020. Key witnesses in the Ukraine scandal must testify in the Senate impeachment trial. These witnesses include Rudy Giuliani. Well, you did ask Ukraine to look into Joe Biden. Of course I did. Mick Mulvaney. What you just described is a quid pro quo. There's going to be political influence in foreign policy. Mike Pompeo. Rudy Giuliani delivered Ukraine files to Mike Pompeo. And John Bolton. A lawyer for John Bolton says that his client has new information on these meetings with Ukraine. Call Senator Collins and tell her these witnesses must testify. But some House Democrats want to make sure Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell is the main focus of the pressure to call witnesses. All the people that Donald Trump has said that can profess his innocence, he hasn't let come uh, before Congress. We can help use this as leverage to make the Senate do the right thing. Mitch McConnell already said that he's working hand in hand with the White House on this. He's not an impartial juror. That's, again, breaking the rules that exist. An impeachment trial would get underway just as Trump escalates his fight for a second term. He's set to launch an Evangelicals for Trump coalition in Miami one week from tonight. That's on January 3rd, and then hold a rally six days later in Toledo, Ohio. While we've heard Trump trying out versions of a message based on keeping America great or promising voters that the best is yet to come, in recent weeks, he has used impeachment and investigations into his conduct to try to strike a chord with voters. Our opponents have spent every waking minute of the last three years trying to overthrow the election of 2016 and, at a minimum, to sabotage the election of 2020. The radical Democrats are trying to overturn the last election because they know that they cannot win the next election. After three years of sinister witch hunts, hoaxes, scams, Tonight, the House Democrats are trying to nullify the ballots of tens of millions of patriotic Americans. There is also a chance that the Iowa caucuses, which will take place on Monday, February 3rd, may collide with a Senate trial of President Trump. NBC News reports that some Trump campaign officials are concerned about the impact of impeachment on voters that they have dubbed disengagers or those who, quote, haven't been regularly attending rallies, didn't vote for Republicans in the 2018 midterms and haven't necessarily responded positively to campaign outreach in the last three years. Today, Bernie Sanders seemed to indicate that his campaign is aware that some of Trump's voters might be up for grabs. If you want to beat Trump, you're going to need a large voter turnout. And I think our campaign is that campaign. One day after the upcoming Iowa caucuses on February 4th, Trump is set to deliver his State of the Union address. We have seen this before. In January 1999, Bill Clinton delivered his State of the Union address while his impeachment trial was underway. But he did not mention his trial at all during his 77-minute speech. Trump, however, has been more than willing to discuss his impeachment and to openly question it. I'm the first person that ever get impeached and there's no crime. I, like, I feel guilty. You know what they call it? Impeachment light. It's impeachment light. That's why, you know, with Richard Nixon, I just see it as a very dark era. Very dark, very old. That's, you don't even like to think. I don't know about you, but I'm having a good time. It's crazy. So I'm not worried. I'm not worried because 
It's always good. When you don't do anything wrong, you get impeached. That may be a record that will last forever. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.